options. That was anticlimactic, I know, but we gotta have them on for the final fight. Doesn't work if we don't have like cool special effects. Save game, slot one. That way if I screw up, I don't have to do it again. Okay, for real this time. There he is. All right, let's get hit in the face with thunder again. That's flashier. That's what we're looking for. And Squizzy doesn't die. Oh, but we get paralyzed. That's good. We still hit Earthquake, though, yeah? Yeah. All right. Bunch of damage. Half health, at least. Oh. More than half health. And if he wants to use up his healing items here, I think I'm inclined to let that slide. I don't know how many healing items he has. All right, so that was a damage range and we got a strong hit the first time, but that's okay. Squizzy's, basically Squizzy's entire job this run is kill the Pikachu, right? Um, it doesn't have any other type coverage. The only fire type on his team is also a flying type. Come on, Squizzy, you can do it. We might have to burn a full restore. Oh, seriously? We might have to burn a full restore on you as well. All right. If that's a crit, I'm going to be bummed. All right, we're good. Ooh, double good. I'm thinking we are going to pop a full restore, though, because if red throws another one, I would very much like to have what we need to get through that. Alright, so, also that ding-dong noise is upsetting. Much better. And we're not paralyzed, and he didn't heal. This is good news. Let's save the power points in case we need it. Come on, Squizzy. Okay, just one hit. I'm asking for one hit. You can do it. Maybe you can't do it, but we did buy 30 full restores. So, like, there's that. I think we're off to a great start, though, because we're struggling this much against Pokemon number one on Red's team. It's a good sign for the rest of the battle. Do not paralyze me again, I swear to god. There we go. Cool. Pokemon number one down. Good. Venusaur? Who do we have? That'll do a good job there. Steve's a good try? We can't poison it, so Toxic Stall won't work there. But we have Flame Wheel and we have Extreme Speed. And is he really just going for Solar Beam? That's fine. We'll probably be able to eat a Solar Beam. Probably. Was it his plan to just Solar Beam Squizzy too? Like, what is the deal with that? All right, we'll eat the Solar Beam, see how hard it hurts, and hope for a burn on the return fire. Oh. That's a big hit. Burn, please? Yeah, we got the burn. All right, we're going to go for another one, thinking he's using another solar beam. Yep. And then I will make a judgment call on whether we go for the... Uh, for a healing item. I'm thinking we can wrap it up with an extreme speed, though. Part of the reason I'm so glad we got it. Ooh, don't even need to. Right, so we got two of his Pokemon. Working. Espeon. That's actually why we got crippled here at all. Um, I was putting together the team and I realized that we did not have much of a shot at taking down Espeon with how hard it hits. I know it's probably going to be kind of an a-hole and start throwing uh, sand attacks at us. Oh, maybe not. All right, so let's see. Swift versus Bite. All 
Well, at that rate, we will win. I'm going to choose to try and accelerate it with Toxic. Umbreon's got the bulk to just take hits, and this will speed up the amount of damage that it's taking each turn, which I think is going to be nice for us. Man. And this is a... This is a winnable matchup. And I know we used healing items, but so did Red. And that means that we're going to be through about half of his team without losing a member of ours, which puts us in a good position for the rest of the battle, at least. I mean, it's not great. Snorlax, Charizard, and Blastoise are left, and I kind of think that's the scarier half of the team, if we're being honest. But it's something. Snorlax, of course you are. We don't have any fighting-type moves... But we've got rain. I'm going to hope that the increased power that we get here. Oh, <laughs> water's special. This is no good. Maybe the passive damage of Whirlpool will help us. Well, <laughs> that's not looking good. Here comes the paralysis. All right, well, this is going to be the first team member we lose. Oh my god, that hit so hard. Oh. Right, waterfall. So we're doing increased damage because of the rain, but decrease because of amnesia. And holy jeez, that's a lot of defense. Ugh. I'm kind of wondering if we're going to be able to win it at all. So I'm just going to sacrifice Rain here, unfortunately, but we have a max revive in the bag if we need it for Charizard. I want to take a minute and consider the rest of the team here. So Lilith and Confuse, that's actually not a bad plan and it's definitely faster. Crib can go for the Toxic Stall, but he's got Rest, which I don't... I don't really want to get in that kind of fight with it. Avsaden has Hyper Beam as like a wall breaker move if we need it, and Steve could burn it, but once again, status conditions are not a reliable play. I'm thinking... This is the move. And then we just hope for the best. All right, that's a good start. Amnesia is a good move for him, but we are using physical moves. You're out of your confusion already. Are you... Of course we get hit with a critical hit. All right, we're going to see how Crypt does with it. All right, so we're faster. If we manage to live the turn, we can try to hit him with Bite. See if we can get some flinch luck on him. I think we just kind of go all in on that plan for now. The Snorlax, I knew it was going to be a problem, but oh my god. That was not good. The first half of the fight went so well. Dark is special? I had thought it was physical. That's my mistake. Ugh. All right, so the poison's good. If we can get lucky with a flinch or two, we might actually be able to just win with the poison damage. Come on, Umbreon. Don't do the dying part of things, please. And I think now is when we really need to lean in on the idea of getting a flinch. So I'm going to just keep biting and hoping for the best. 
Yes. <laughs> All right. That's what I'm talking about. Charizard. Yeah, Satan can probably do it. Maybe. And then we're going to need to have another sacrificial piece to put down because I'm kind of thinking against Blastoise, it's going to need to be another toxic. Hmm. But we'll pop a surf and see what happens. Fire spin's annoying, but it's not bad. Yo, that flinch, I... We've had a couple really lucky moments on this uh, this playthrough. I was fighting Lance and getting... Uh, well, let's say I was not on the winning side of that battle, and I sent out Suicune and got the level up where he picked up Aurora Beam, and it swept his entire team after that. It was one of those did not have it, but a lucky timing on a finisher. Uh, just a lucky time knocking out one of his Pokemon and just picking up the level up. Yeah, it's, it's not bad. I'm not sure if Hyper Beam could have done it. I think Stab with Surf being super effective is a little more power than Hyper Beam can drop. Fire Spin continues to be annoying, but not really a threat. I think we can take another turn's worth of damage from him. His Wing Attack's not really hitting us that hard. His Flamethrower is what scares me. Yeah, there we go. I think we might actually eke out a win with our lowish 50s team. That's what's up. Right. Last choice is what's left. I'm going to keep Gyarados out. We're going to go for a Hyper Beam. Either he does something like Skull Bash and just wastes a turn, or we lose it and we'll just switch into something else. Or he hits Blizzard. Yeah, that's fine. But that's fine. I still think the play here is Umbreon. So we're going to send out Steve, the one Pokemon I know is not going to save us in a fight against the Blastoise. And we're going to throw a Hyper Potion over here. This is going a little better than I necessarily thought it was going to go. I kind of figured it would be a blowout. I was ready for Pikachu to sweep the team, but Squizzy did way more damage with Earthquake than I was really ready for. Now, the other thing is we know that he has Blizzard. So I don't think Squizzy is going to do much other than take hits for a turn for us. You know what I mean? But yeah, Whirlpool's annoying. And honestly, a wasted turn for him is good news for us. He's faster, which means we're not getting flinches. But, oh no, <laughs> that's no good. I don't remember, did Hail exist in this gen, or was that introduced in 3? I think it was introduced in Gen 3. Um, as that would make his Blizzard bypass accuracy checks, which would be a problem for us, I'm sure. That hit really hard. Oh, it was a crit? Are you serious? Hmm. You know what? We know that he's not going to heal. Right? Like, he's not going to heal the status condition. Why don't we come down and bust out one of these and send out someone really bulky like Rain? We know we've got the type resistance. You know what I mean? Like, I think it might be worth it. And every turn that he misses is just gravy for us. Because Squizzy can start firing off earthquakes. Or, well, you know, and try to. I'm not anticipating a whole lot of success on that after that, but that's okay. Now, the scary thing is, a single crit from him, and we're done. So I think this might seem a little cheesy, but we're going to pop a revive on someone. Just in case we get KO'd out of nowhere, so we have kind of a fallback. Although the fact that he's opening with Whirlpool does not suggest that he's moving from a position of strength. <laughs> yeah, see, I say that, but I'm about to use Whirlpool on him too for more passive damage. Oh man. 
Oh man, I think we I think we've got it though. I'm pretty sure his Blastoise is not really anything more than just us needing to tank for a few turns while we let the poison do its work. But we'll see. See, because the poison's putting in some real damage now. Like I think next turn he's done. Oh man. We might win it. That's what I'm talking about, that passive damage. I think that's going to do it for us. So, I'll throw a waterfall at him. He'll hit us with a surf. Based on the damage he did last time, unless he crits, we're fine. If he does crit, we have crippled to send out just to kind of be on board for the last turn. And the poison actually might do it right here. Yep. All right, so we had to lean on some items, which I don't always love to do. Like, it's, as I said, casual playthrough, it's fine. But we did it. A man, a few words.